Welcome back to my dark room. This time we are going to look at Select All Soft Developer and see what that looks like. Select All Soft is Kodak's soft working print developer formula. Now it survived the 90s when Kodak got rid of a lot of their formulas and pretty much slimmed it down to just Dectol, but it did not survive much longer than that. It was very popular among a lot of printers with the graded paper it's because they could affect the contrast differently. Uh, Ansel Adams wrote about this quite a bit in his books about mixing Dectol to Selectol to get a range of grades. Now, variable contrast paper took care of that, but Selectol uh, Soft still has a place in your darkroom if you want full control of the print. Now, this formula, while not something you can just go out and buy anymore, it is still something you can mix up. It's just a metal based formula, and I believe you can find it uh, also labeled as Ilford ID3. We're going to see how it affects both Ilford Classic and Ilford Multigrade and see what kind of differences we have between them. Speaking of which, did somebody need a lab towel? Because if you do, then you can get my camera themed lab towel for your darkroom down in the description. You can also get a t-shirt such as this down in the description. And all of these go towards supporting this channel so I can bring you more content. Now let's go ahead and look at uh, how this developer affects the print. To make Select All Soft, which is also Kodak D165 or Ilford ID3, you're going to need six grams of metal, 25 grams of sodium sulfite, 37 and a half grams sodium carbonate monohydrate, and one gram potassium bromide. Add this in order to one liter of water. Mix one part stock to three parts water. Okay, here is our Dectol in Ilford Classic. Same image as last time, uh, just to make it easier to see. Um, like before, it is full scale. It's printed at a one and a half filter. And I've got everything that I want there. So now let's look at Select All Soft. It is slightly lower in contrast. I can see it here more than anywhere else since these are my large uh, patches of dark. It is a touch lower contrast through here and here. But my mid-tones seem pretty good. They're, they're about the same. It's mostly the dark areas are they're full scale i mean i do have black they're just not getting blocked up the way that the dectol would like to try to if i developed it more so a little bit lower it is um, i'm not going to put it up here because i already threw it out but i can create this look with the dectol by going down a full grade so one and a half i can make the same print as this with a half filter. There is no color difference here. <clears throat> I find that Ilford Classic has virtually no color difference when you use different developers. And that's more of just how the uh, emulsion is engineered. If you want different colors, you have to tone it. All right, let's look at the warm tone versions. Okay, here's the Ilford Warm Tone paper with Dectol as last time. Now, one thing I forgot to mention last video is while I did say the Warm Tone is slightly lower contrast than uh, the Classic, it's also a full stop slower. This is the exact same exposure time, but where the other print was F11, this is F8, and it gives me the exact same density. So if you're trying to print between the two, you'll probably have to open up a stop uh, or um, double your time, just FYI. Okay, here's the Select All Soft version of the print. 
And we are definitely in lower contrast, um, very clear up in this area that our contrast is in fact lower. The tone is slightly warmer, but I doubt you would notice if you didn't put it up against the other print. Um, if I just looked at it on its own, I wouldn't think it was warmer than normal um, compared to a deck tall. It's only when I put it next to each other I can just barely make out a slightly warmer print. Other than that, it is virtually identical. It is the same printing time and the same uh, aperture, same filtration. <clears throat> and again, it's about a full stop lower in, or not a full stop, a full grade lower in contrast. So this is one and a half, this is equivalent to a half. There is no benefit over using the developer versus just lowering your filtration when you print. If there was a slightly warmer uh, take on this, which I suppose you could um, add some potassium bromide to this and make it slightly warmer, I've not tried with the Dectol to see if you could do the same. If you could, then there really is no purpose. If a little bit add, added would make this warmer, but not that, then perhaps um, perhaps there would be a benefit. You just dial up your filtration here. But quite frankly, if you're going to do that, just use the Select All like last week. So there you have it. So Select All Soft versus Dectol, lower contrast, but still fairly full scale and still getting full black in there. And then for your entertainment purposes, here is Select All Soft side by side in both papers, Classic and Warm Tone. And there we see kind of what the differences are. When it comes to the Ilford Classic, we definitely have a lower contrast. It is exactly one grade lower. So in this case, with this image, I am printing at an equivalent of a one and a half grade. Now I'm using my color head, but if you saw any of the contrast grade tests that I did, I'm getting exactly the same results with my color head as I am using the Ilford filters. While it did lower the contrast, there were really no other benefits when it came to um, color or anything like that. It's Ilford Classic is just going to be neutral until you tone it and then you can create other things. But the developer itself, not really doing anything but lowering contrast. When it comes to the warm tone, well there we lowered contrast and we changed to a little bit warmer color. I find that there was really no difference between the Select All Soft and the D52 Select All when it came to contrast, which was surprising to me with the Ilford Warm Tone paper. They both lowered the contrast about the same, the color was about the same, but with the Classic paper, color was the same, but the soft formula was as advertised, it was softer. Don't know why. But both the soft and the regular Select All were softer than Dectol on the Warm Tone paper. How does it affect other brands? I don't know. I don't have other brands. I'm not going to go out and just buy a whole fridge full of paper just to test these things for you guys. So you're going to have to try them yourself, but you can mix up these formulas and try them. They're not that expensive and they're easy to do. So until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see what else we come up with.